There's a magician in the kitchen. And Hey everybody, it's Tasty Thursday again. Today we're back on our football food schedule, as you can tell by my football shirt. So, today the appetizer that we're making, I like to call half cups. Or you could call them tiny cups or tiny tasties or whatever you want it really. But they're really cute little appetizers. And I call them half cups because all the ingredients is half a cup. So, and we only have a few ingredients. So we need half a cup of grated cheese and I'm using Colby. We need a half a cup of chopped up bacon. You could use bacon bits if you wanted, but I happen to have some bacon already, so I just chopped it up really finely. And then we have half a cup of Rotel tomatoes, and those are kind of like spicy chili tomatoes. They come in a can, and I already measured them out and threw the can away, so I can't show you, but um, they're called Rotel brand, and they are just chopped up tomatoes that have some spices in them. We need a half a cup of mayo, and then our very fun ingredient, is called phyllo shells. Now, some of you may have seen these before, and they come in the freezer section, and basically, they are just little tiny cups that is little as pastry dough. And they come just like this, ready to fill. They're already baked. So our first step is going to be to set these out on our baking tray. Now, the recipe that I'm making is for 15. If you have more than 15 people, or if you think some of your football fans are going to really like these and want more, you might want to get two packages of your little phyllo cups. Okay, so now we've got those ready to go. And I don't remember if I said it, but I just took these out of the freezer. They don't need to thaw very much, but just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to just start mixing our stuff in. So the first thing I'm going to do is take our half cup of cheese and pour that in. And I'm going to take our half cup of bacon and dump that in. And then I'm going to do the same thing with our tomatoes. And then I'm going to wipe my hands off because look how gross they are. Very important to have a towel standing nearby. And then I'm going to take my mayonnaise and I'm going to measure half a cup. And a half a cup is right here. So when I get to where my finger is, I'm going to stop. I'll have to move my finger so I can hold it. But. I'll keep watching for half a cup. Now the nice thing about phyllo is that you could also use this for um, a dessert instead of appetizers. You could fill it with um, like a cream cheese frosting and you put fruit inside of it or you could put chocolate mousse or pudding and whipped cream. All kinds of different things. It's a really um, versatile ingredient. Okay, there's half cup. So now we're going to dump our half cup in here. And all we're going to do is mix this all together. This is a super simple recipe and it goes together in like just a couple of minutes. Okay, the hardest part probably is shredding and chopping ahead of time. So we just mix it all up. You can see how it's coming together. Everything's getting nice and blended. And then what we're going to do is just take a tiny spoon this is where these little baby spoons come in handy. Because our cups are so small, we're going to use our baby spoon to fill them. And I, oh, I didn't mention that I've got our oven preheated to 350 because we're going to bake these for just about 10 minutes. Just long enough for everything to get melted and nice and delicious. Okay, so now we're going to just take our little baby spoon and put some inside each cup. Now, I said earlier, if you have more than 15 people, you might want to get more. Um, probably each person is going to have more than one of these. So you need to figure out how many total you need to make, how many each person is going to have, and then buy that amount of file cups. Because they're so delicious, probably nobody's going to stop just eating one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish filling these up. And then I'm going to pop them in our preheated oven for about 10 minutes, and then we'll be back to see what they look like, put them on a plate, and get taste tester to let us know if we have a score or if we've missed. Okay, so our half cups are finished. We're going to take them out of the oven, and they smell really good. Ooh, and they look perfect. All right, so we'll need to let these cool for just a minute because they're pretty hot because they're just coming out of the oven, but we can go ahead and put some on a plate for taste tester, and then we'll let um, them sit for just a couple minutes before he gives them a shot. So, let's see, let's give him four. It's a good number. Some of you who are four really like the number four. 
Okay, so there are our little cups. They look delicious. So I'm going to go find him and then he will either give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down.